Hello class, I'm creating a video to help with some of the uh, My Math Lab uh, 4.3 exam problems. Uh, the first couple of problems ask you to find the mean, median, mode, standard deviation of our data set. So here's a data set. Uh, if I open this up into StatCrunch, and notice we're, we're looking for the median, uh, we can very quickly go stat, summary stats, my data is in the column, on the var1, and you have a choice here of what you want to select, uh, the mean, the variance, I could pick other items from this list, but looks like we're looking for the median, and that is in here, so I'll press compute. If it wasn't in here, right, I could always add it manually just by holding down the control P and pressing median, uh, I can scroll up, click me, mean, standard deviation, and so on. Let's see, and the mode is also in the bottom. So I can hold the control key and click the different items on this box. I press compute, and the median is 40.76. I'll enter that. It does say round to the nearest cent. So that's uh, 10 cents, one cent, so this looks good. I check answer, we get the correct. I'll move on to question number two. Looks like we're looking for the mean, the median, the mode. So again, I can open this up into StatCrunch. And using the stat summary statistics, my data is in the columns, variable one. Again, I want to make sure I have the mean, the median, the mode. Here's the mean, median, and do I have the mode in here? Doesn't look like I do. So I'm going to just click off start over. Here's mean. I hold the control key down. Median. I still hold the control key down. And mode. Press compute. And it looks like our mean rounded to two decimal places will be 99.01. Um, let's see. Our median let's open this back up would be 97.25 and our mode there is no mode right remember the mode is the number that appears the most often um, and all of these numbers appear one time right so if I had 61.4 twice or 81.5 twice I'd have a mode but no number here appears more than once so the mode does not exist check answer well done. Question number three. It looks like it's a little bit more of the same. Uh, so let's take a look here. The population mean pulse is approximately. So if I want to get the mean of these pulses, I open this up at the stack crunch. And uh, so it's under pulse. So if I go stat, summary, statistics, columns, pulse, and I forgot what we want. We want the mean. So here is the mean. I press compute. And it looks like my mean is 74.44. 74.44. And this says rounded to the nearest tenth. So I'll stop at the four. Next it says determine the sample mean pulse of the following two simple random samples of size three. So I'm going to use my calculator for this. Um, so if I add up Kathy, Clarice, and Crystal and divide by three, right, here is uh, Clarice, Crystal, and Kathy. I'm going to add those numbers up. Right, my numbers look like 67 plus 71 plus 87, right? Clarice, Crystal, Kathy. And then I'll divide that by three. Right, so we press um, enter and divide that by three. Uh, the answer is 75 beats per minute. And now we have to do the same thing except now for Kevin, Clarice, and Perpetual. Interesting. Right, when I add those three, I use the 82, 
uh, the 66 for Kevin and 67 for Clarice and then divide that by 3 and I get 71.666 so 71.7 because we have to round to the nearest 10 and that says determine if the means of sample 1 and 2 overestimate, underestimate, or are equal to the population mean. Well, the population mean was 74.4. So this first one looks like it overestimates. And the second one is under 74, so underestimates. Check answer. And we get the correct. So that helps. I hope that helps for the first three problems. Uh, thank you for watching.